Hey up, hi there, Lunkingham. How are you doing this bonfire night? I hope you've all been having a good time. If you've been out there uh, at your local bonfire, hope you're keeping those pets safe. Uh, a rather short live again tonight, uh, as ever, uh, as quite often happens, I'm single handed. Um, no Kate tonight, our new girl Kate. Um, no Chris, he is just as we speak, Chris is on his way back to Manchester from his little job down to Cornwall with Joe. Two weeks without Chris? Ooh, wow, do you know what? <laughs> Chris, when are you going on holiday again, mate? Anyway, it'll be, it'll be good to uh, get Chris back here. And Chris will be back with his breakfast show, we'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, over the next, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so for this, this live, it will be somewhat of a short one. If you'd like to take part tonight, as ever, you can call. Give us a call on 07 874 You can also take part in the comments down there on this video. So let me turn myself down here again. So yeah, 07 874 655 if you'd like to give us a call. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, right, you know what? Speak of the devil, this is the way to start it, isn't it? It seems that we have a call from Chris. So, hey Chris. Hello, Yeah, I'm good, Chris. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm watching me on the telly, are you? I am, yeah. Yeah, I'm having to hold this phone a little close to the camera there. So, where are you now, Chris? You're on your way back, aren't you? Yeah, just, I'm just like Birmingham. I'm just uh, like Birmingham. I've only ever once been in Birmingham, and I have to say that I don't blame you for leaving it. It wasn't a nice place. Is it still, is it still grey and grimy there in Birmingham? It's just, uh, just, just on the station. So what time do you think you'll be back in Oldstringham, back on your home ground? About half past ten. About half past ten, you do a little stop out. How's Joe doing? Joe's doing alright. Good, you've had a good time there, have you? Yeah, really well, yeah. Oh, well, it's nice that you're on your way back. Are you looking forward to getting back into the lives with us, Chris? I am definitely. I've missed everyone. You know, people just tuning in for me, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, you reckon, do you? People just tuning in for you? Yeah, thank you. And, awesome. and the unlovable Andy. And Kate, don't forget new girl Kate. Oh, yeah, oh, really, Kate, yeah, Kate. Yeah, Kate's going down well. She's quite a professional girl, isn't she? Very good, yeah, I love her to pieces. Very good, yeah. And uh, I'm having a little meet with you uh, right here in the studio tomorrow evening, Chris. Half past seven, is that right? Yes, it is. It's going to be meeting tomorrow. We, we've got a lot of catching up to do. We have. We, we've been sitting on uh, some big news for a couple of weeks, but we can't say anything about it yet because uh, we don't know everything about it yet. But when you're back tomorrow, we'll get on to that, and hopefully sometime next week we can uh, do the big reveal on what our news is about all the news. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. Well, uh, this technology we've got here, Chris, it's not the best. I'm having to lean forward with the phone so the camera can pick you up. So, is there anything you'd like to say to Old Fingham while you have the chance here? I'm just saying, wish everyone uh, a, good, a good week ahead and I'll see you on uh, Thursday by Bob. And uh, 8 o'clock on them, the breakfast show, which is very boring. Yeah, we'll give it a mention later on, your breakfast show 8 o'clock and you'll be back here with us uh, this time next week. Yes. You will, okay. Alright Chris, well, nice thank you for calling in and I will see okay. you tomorrow and it'll be great to get you back on the live this coming week, mate. Yeah, okay. Okay Chris, see you soon buddy. Okay. Bye bye now. So there we go, the man himself, Chris, the first call. If you'd like to call, please do 0787, out my what? 07874, 055 611, or join in on the comments here on this, uh, on this live stream. So given that this will be another rather short live stream, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover a few of my favourite, uh, my pets, um, little projects that I normally speak about on these lives. 
First of all, uh, Altringham in Bloom. Altringham in Bloom, you may have seen on the on our Facebook page. They've just won their fourth consecutive gold medal in the Northwest in Bloom Regional Finals. That's a fantastic achievement. The, everybody involved in that, they, they put so much into Altringham and as I said before, there isn't anywhere you can really go in Altringham and where, wherever you look, there's something there to do with Altringham and Bloom. Uh, Altringham and Bloom have a couple of events coming up uh, over the next few weeks. On the 18th of November, which is a Saturday between 9 and 12 o'clock, um, on Armitage Road, that's the road that leads up to Sainsbury's Car Park here in Altringham, uh, you, you might have noticed it's a little bit scrappy and a little bit overgrown there. Altringham in Bloom and our Altringham have already done a little bit of work down there. But there's a volunteer day, as I say, on Saturday the 18th of November between 9 o'clock in the morning and 12 o'clock. The whole area down Armitage Road needs a good clean up. It is a bit of an eyesore, particularly on the side of uh, Sainsbury's car park. Sainsbury's, where are you helping us out with this? I have to say that I understand that Sainsbury's haven't been particularly cooperative so far, but Sainsbury's, pull your finger out, get it sorted. The 18th of November between 9 and 12, so that's going on. If you'd like to get involved with that, you can, if you have a look at the Altrincham and Bloom website, they've just recently launched a new website, and you can find that at www.altringhaminbloom.org.uk. That's www.altringhaminbloom.org.uk. So you'll be able to find out there more events that are going on. In particular, this. Um, this volunteer day on Armitage Road, it'd be nice to see that area uh, cleaned up a little bit, I guess. Hi Katrina, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, and also watching him in Bloom. Um, this is the second award that they've won in recent weeks. Only the other week, they won a Silver Gilt Award. Now, there's a little bit of misunderstanding about this Silver Gilt Award. A Silver Gilt Award is actually higher than a silver. I was one of the people who, who didn't, I guess they didn't really understand it, but a silver gilt, apparently it's a little bit higher than a silver award, so Altrincham in Bloom came higher than second in the regional competition for North West in Bloom, and just below gold, and that was that, that was the silver award, and the, the gold that they've just achieved with all the fantastic work they do, it's the fourth consecutive gold medal that they've won in the regional finals. And I, I think that is some fantastic work that they've been doing. Altrincham News joined up with Altrincham in Bloom this year, and they've done some fantastic work in the past, and we're very, very proud to be involved with them. And long live Altrincham in Bloom and everybody that makes it happen. So once again, www.altringhaminbloom.org.uk is where you can get all the information on that, particularly if you'd like to take part in this Armitage Road Tidy Up that's taking place Saturday 18th of November between 9 and 12 o'clock. Get yourselves down there, join in, and let's make Altringham a better place for everyone. Also, another one of my pet projects, my, uh, my pet things, is this place, A4 Studios, where Altrincham News is based. They have an exhibition on at the Air Gallery here at A4 Studios called Curiosities. There was a preview night that I attended a couple of nights back. There's some pictures on the page for that. Get yourself down here, have a look. There's some fantastic and some, yeah, curious artworks in the gallery at the moment. Uh, very well attended on the preview night. There's some really interesting stuff going on there. Also, A4 Galleries themselves, uh, I'm sorry, A4 Studios themselves. The whole building that Altinger Muse is based in here is pretty much, everything it's been built with has been donated by Altingham and the surrounding areas. They are currently applying for a grant from the Ariva Fund, 
uh, to, to do a little bit more work. There is a post on our page about that down there somewhere. Uh, we're going to be reposting that. Please vote for them, give them your support so we can get this grant. These studios are aimed at disadvantaged and disabled artists, things like that. We, we have script writers here, we have filmmakers, we, we have all sorts here. It's going to be the creative hub of Old Freedom. So there's a Reva grant that they're after. It's, it, it's a grant that people can vote on and A4 Studios are looking for your vote. So please keep your eye on the page. We will repost that, that post uh, that we posted a little earlier in the week. And please show them your support. Also, if I can just go and return again to Altrincham in Bloom. Altrincham in Bloom are holding a community support dinner on the Tuesday the 14th of November. That will be taking place at the Conservative Club in Altrincham. Tickets are available now. You will be able to find information on the Altrincham and Bloom website. We will also, of course, be posting details to that on our page here on Altrincham News in this coming week. The, the idea of this is to raise funds for next year's projects. Altrincham in Bloom have a number of projects on the go at the moment. You may be aware of them. We have Shores Green in Altrincham, we have the Welcome Gateway, and the Four Seasons Walkway over near Tasco. Altrincham in Bloom also recently installed the lamppost planters, barrier planters at the interchange. They're doing a fantastic job. They need your support and desperately desperately looking for volunteers who can who can help join in help your community that would be a fantastic thing to see so those are my two little pet projects out of the way uh, as i said at the beginning this will be a particularly short live being on my own again if you'd like to take part before i depart your company uh, this sunday then we'll give it another shot the number is 07 874-055-611 Other than that, coming up this week, as you just heard from Chris a few moments ago, Chris, <coughs> excuse me, Chris will be doing his breakfast show at 8 o'clock, 8.30 on Thursday morning, so watch out for that. Prior to that, you will be able to catch Kate and myself here on the sofa on Wednesday. Did you watch last Sunday's live with myself and Kate? We, we reviewed some cakes and stuff from Sweet Octopus up there near the football ground. I have to admit, I've never really been a cake sort of person, but those cakes were, you know, I, I could get quite used to that. So, I know you're watching at the moment, Kate, so if you'd like to bring something else in on Wednesday, because I've, I've washed your plates and the knives and forks are up there waiting for you, if you'd like to bring any, any other goodies in, that'll be fine with me. So that will be Wednesday, 8.30, the normal time, 8.30, with myself and Kate. Thursday morning, Chris will be back with his breakfast show. And Chris will also be back here on Sunday evening at 8 o'clock, uh, as usual, for another altering of tonight. We'll be getting more into the stride of our autumn season of uh, lives when Chris comes back. We've got big plans for what's coming up. As Chris mentioned a little earlier, we are actually sitting on some big news about altering the news, but we can't say anything about that. Nothing's going to change but some exciting news for, for us, I'm oh, dying to share that with you, but at the moment we just can't say anything. Darren, what's going on? Please uh, keep your eye out for that and you'll be the first to know when anything moves on that. So, one more time before I leave, if anybody would like to give us a quick call before I go, and uh, your thoughts on altering them, anything, the number is 07 874-055-611. Other than that, just to recap, um, Altrincham and Bloom, fourth consecutive goal, well done to that. They're looking for volunteers. 
particularly for the Armitage Road uh, clean-up, which will take place on Saturday the 18th of November, 9 till 12 o'clock. Air Gallery, as I said before, please get yourselves down here, show these guys your support. Also show the hosts of Air Gallery, A4 Studios, your support. They're applying for an Ariva grant and it all depends on the number of votes that A4 Studios get. Have a look on the Facebook page, have a look on the website to see what they're all about and support your community, this creative disability arts hub. Uh, it's for disabled artists, underprivileged artists, fantastic atmosphere in the place. You're going to see some fantastic stuff coming out of these studios over the coming months and into next year. The exhibition here runs till, I think it is the 9th of December, it runs till at the moment, so please get down and have a look. Um, yeah, so I think that is about it, given that I'm on my own. I've said all I need to. I'll just say once more, watch out for the live with myself and Kate on Wednesday evening at 8.30. Watch out for Chris's breakfast show that he's trying to develop on Thursday morning. And Chris and myself will be back here with you guys on Sunday, getting back to normal with these Altering Dim Tonight live streams as we approach the autumn season. So, I hope you've had a good time tonight with your bonfires. If you're going out to a bonfire, it's a little bit late I guess now, but if you're still on your way out, then please be careful out there. I know Kate would want me to say, look after your pets. So please look after your pets for what's left of bonfire night here. And I think that will just about do it for this somewhat short Altering Dim Tonight Live. And um, I will catch up with you guys again on Wednesday. So until then, watch out for these things that I've told you on the page. We will be posting them. And I'll catch up with you guys again real, real soon. So take care out there, folks, and I'll see you soon.